Hello guys, DAGSS here, and yeah, many of you uh, ask, were asking me how did I do fourth and fifth generation after Nintendo shutting down their servers, and some of you requested a tutorial, so here I am. So yeah, uh, let's go right into it. So here we have the web page of the project. Uh, well, all the info that you need is here, so let's go. First thing you need to go, I will leave all the links in the description. Uh, you will have to check the one that has uh, uh, the download of the patch and uh, the instructions. <laughs> if you want, here are the instructions on how to connect uh, that I'm going to tell you in this video. Feel free to check these ones. And yeah, uh, if we go down here, uh, we will find uh, a link to the ROM patcher. So you have to click here and this will uh, send you to this page. You have to download the latest version of the patcher and now let's see how it works. So here I have uh, downloaded it. You just have to extract it wherever you want and that will uh, make appear the readme and here is the program. Uh, it's really simple to use. Here I have a uh, Pokemon White 2 ROM and I will show you. You just have to drag it to the patcher. Uh, say yes here. And uh, well, that window will pop up. And you have to wait just some, thec some seconds. Okay. And there. It will automatically close and create this other ROM with uh, this suffix alt uh, Wi-Fi connection and this is the ROM that you need to use. So yeah, after having the ROM you are ready to set up on your console or emulator. I'm going to show you on the emulator but the process is the same for both. Uh, so you have to open the ROM that you have patched. Okay, let's go. And uh, on the ROM you are playing, you have to find this menu here Nintendo Wi Fi connection settings. It's very important that you enter this menu from the game that is patched and not from the settings of the console. So once you're here, you must go to options and select Erase Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection Configuration. Uh, well, it will ask you if you are sure. You have to say yes, because if you don't erase all your previous configuration, you won't be able to do this. So, after saying OK, this will restart the game. And we are going to be ready to set up the new server. OK. So I will have to reset here, I believe. OK. And after resetting, we must go to that menu again. So, once we are here, now we are going to go to Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection Settings. And we are going to set up a connection. So we search for our access point. Uh, well, of course, if you are doing this on the emulator, you must know how to do this. You must do all the previous steps that you should uh, do while connecting with with the emulator. And if you are using a console, you just need a compatible Wi-Fi point. So here, uh, it will test the connection. It won't work for me this time because I'm not uh, at the moment with the right configuration. But yeah, don't worry about that. But yeah, uh, the first time you do it, it will probably give you an error too, because this is not still ready. You have to uh, click on the connection, and we will have to edit here where it says DNS. So, out of 10 DNS, you must put no, and then we must fill this with the information on uh, on the page with the tutorial. So here we find this number is the one that we must introduce on the uh, information here. 
Okay, so it's 75, uh, 127, 5, and 250. Okay, so you must fill that on primary DNS and also on the secondary DNS. So be sure to uh, fill it with the right numbers. I'm just going to check here. 75. Oh, it was wrong. Okay. 127. 5. And 250. Okay, so after doing that. Uh, you just leave uh, the other information in out obtain of that and you will be able to test connection of uh, again it won't work for me but don't be afraid it will work for you if you did everything correctly so yeah uh, once you do that you can just save the settings and get out of this menu going back back and after that you should be able to play online with a new server so yeah you just have to start the game and well in the case of Pokemon games that I believe is the one that most of you are interested in you just can go talk to this girl and get your new uh, friend code for your console or emulator so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as you see, it's not very difficult. It's pretty easy. And well, some notes uh, in the description. I will leave you a link with a compatibility list of the games that are working. You can check there if the game that you want to play is working. And also I will leave a link to the troubleshooting with the error codes that you can get uh, here. It will tell you what's the problem with uh, that uh, error code. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, I hope it works for you and we are seeing you next time. Peace.